saw him with face then. <laughs> Here, like, are you ready? Yeah. When you did it the first time, it I really know. did look like the hound. You gotta let more forehead, because that beast got some forehead. No I know, but there. he like... There you go. Hangs... <laughs> Because this would be the skull. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the scar side. And this is the side. Hey guys. Anyhow. Okay, I'm all done. Alright, I'm all done. Oh, Anyhow, you guys that's what you'd look like if you had hair. That's true. Well now. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. See if we can give you a pixie. What? <laughs> Ew! <laughs> you look like a... Uh... <laughs> This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it does sound like the whole buzzball thing. That was crazy. I don't know if I ever want to do that again. The buzzball thing? Oh, oh my God, goodness. the buzzball night. That was Ooh. crazy. That was bad. Anyway. So, no, yeah, Hershey you, did not grow luscious locks. You like doing live streams. Thank you so much, Faith. I appreciate it. Um, you like doing live streams. I'm not a big live I do. streamer. Love to ask Hirsch no if it's the vice is spot on. Thank you. I appreciate it, Wagukin. We Actually, just finished recording one. <laughs> See, this is why we don't do them together. Hi from Trinidad and Tobago. Hey, that that's good. awesome, Sandra. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, this is why we don't do them together because she just cuts me right on off. But anyhow. Uh, we actually did a follow-up video because I had to the, the video that talked about You got it. Center. You're trying to cut me off. No, I'm not. You just did. It's <laughs> all on you. Like I'm over here. No, you're not. See, we're centered. <laughs> okay. So anyhow, I don't know when the video is going to go up because there's a couple of. Extra... <laughs> there's. A... I'm waiting on you to get settled. <laughs> there's a couple of. There's a couple of ask her snowies that I have to get up on the on the thing. This one was not necessarily an Ask Hirsch Noe. It was a, we did it together, this one. It was more or less because I had a person who is also on our Facebook, and they said that they felt like the lady, tell that lady that they think that she has a, um, uh, a fetish for black dudes. Because, you know, the video that talks <laughs> about it was a white woman who prefers black dudes. And so the guy, the, the guy on Facebook said that he thought that it was, a fetish and i said i wish you would put that in our youtube video and he did and so cool i appreciate that there was another person who sent an email saying that they thought that the woman was just lusting after black dudes and also went down the whole fetish route and we did a video talking about that saying we disagree i think that that does exist obviously um but in that particular <coughs> case of that person again you know i was privy to the email but see now i have hair on me uh, in that particular case, uh, I disagree. I don't think that just because she has a preference that that is a fetish or a lust type of thing. Now, it does happen, but I don't think that's necessarily the case. So anyhow, that video should come up relatively soon, probably sometime next week. Um, but there's other videos that have to go up, and, and I like to put them up in order. There's I did a video today. Tacoma. I planted potatoes. And we also planted corn. And beans and, and squash. Well, not no. beans, just squash. And we did the three sisters, so we finally got. We that did up. two of the three sisters. Well, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and I planted carrots and another little herb garden. Um, oh, where'd you plant? The I herb did garden basil, cilantro, and dill, oh, all in one it. planter. Oh. Um, but yeah, I did nine buckets of potatoes oh, and thirsty. corn. I know. I'm hungry. What are we gonna do for dinner? I know my eyes are. Look at me. My eyes are all red. Mm-hmm. Why are you looking like that? Well, because my eyes are. Gross. <laughs> 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 the video still cracked me up. Hey, you two. Which video cracked you up? You're leaning on me like I'm so I'm tired sorry. right now. 
I'm literally, I'm so exhausted. You're just lay, laying on me. <laughs> and the yeah. camera's all over here. No, it's not. Because look, now if I sit on my own. You have plenty. Of, look, I'm, look, I'm having to sit <laughs> like this what? just to get in there. <laughs> no, you're not. I do. I have to sit like this no, to get in. No, you're not. I don't know why we always fight like this. We don't. About just, camera. Because the, the angle, you're just in there. Of course, that's fine. That's cool. Okay, like but if this. we both, look, if we both angle in, <gasps> look at that. I know, I know. The you had her hair over your head. <laughs> I looked like the hound when she first did it. I know, it and was then we amazing. lost it. And then we lost it. Because <laughs> there's nothing up here to hold it, so it just slid. I <laughs> could cut it and then make a wig for you. No. No? No, sweets is coming. You don't like that idea? No. I'm good, actually. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Come here, sweets. She just woke up from a nap. Yeah, so she's gonna be. Hi, Nuggets. Hey, sweets. Come here. <sighs> oh. oh, oh, See, to me, the oh. live streams. And here's the reason why I don't like live streams, and this, I, I think, this is why you like them. They're too unorganized for me. I was reminded of your video about beard weaves. <laughs> okay, what is your thought about beard? Somebody got really upset. Nuh uh Because I talked about... <laughs> hey, Waygookin. I'm trying not to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> what did they get upset about? <laughs> what? I don't want to when it wanted to sound like I'm talking about somebody, but he got upset with me because he really was defending beard weaves and he said that he could wear whatever he wants to wear when he wants to wear it. And he's like, I guarantee you women wouldn't have a problem with it. And I'm like, okay. I saw another video today about this dude that had a full on weave. And it's like, that's cool. I mean, do what you want to do. Like, I'm not someone to sit here and say, you know, don't do it. Do what you choose to do. I'm not, it's not for me. I'm not going to be doing it. But he really got upset with me because I was talking about beard weaves. And I'm like, dude, it's not that deep. It's my opinion. Like, I I don't see the point of it. If you can't get it to grow in, you can't get it to grow in. But I'm not saying don't do it. I just, I personally, if I couldn't grow a beard, just like I can't grow a stitch of hair right here. <laughs> Look how shiny that is. It is shiny. <laughs> but you don't see me going and trying to get plugs in nothing against the people who do but it's gone you said in your video they could do what they want so no clue why he got that say it again like <laughs> it's like <laughs> i say it in videos like hey you know this is my opinion or you know, you can do whatever you want to do, or this is just my thought. And then people sit there and get mad and say, well, you... and I'm like, dude, I just said you can do whatever you want to do. Like, I'm not saying don't. I'm not making fun of you. I'm just saying it, lo it doesn't look that good. Like, to me. I mean, I think a lot of actors have to wear beard weaves. That's different, though. Because, like, they're, you know, like, well, the Game of Thrones, like, that, a lot of that was makeup, and that's, that's different. different. But I'm talking about when you going out and you trying to, like, look like, Rick Ross, because you think it's cool. So, what do like, you think about spray hair? Same thing. Like, I don't get it. Like, <laughs> don't get caught in the rain. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Then you have like a big old <laughs> smear down. I'm not making fun of people, but I think that to me personally, I just wouldn't do it. It's not there. So, let it go. Again, it's okay. It's okay, sweet. I think for women, that's different. Like, because somebody was like, well, women work, because I said, you know, when dudes swear those things, I think that's false advertising. They say, well, what about women in makeup? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I'm not going to touch that. Like, that's different. You know, because you got to look at society and the pressures of society and all that. Stuff. That's different. But I just don't understand. Nowhere does it ever movies. say that you have to have a beard if you're a dude. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of like nowadays, the dog's going to be the neighbor's dog, mm -hmm. which I can't yeah. stand. Um, nowadays, I think it's just kind of the end thing. You know what I mean? I was talking about, you saw the video, I think, yeah. didn't you? It's rare for her to watch some of the videos. But, um, yeah, in that video, I was talking about how, you know, putting over, my business out there like that. Over time, like, I just, you know, I kept changing it until I couldn't change it anymore. And now it's the gray. And I showed her one of my friends that I was talking about that had, because in that video, I was talking about all the gray. Like, his, I mean, he's, he's like a year younger than her. He just white, like all of it, just white. And um, his wife, she's cool. 
yeah like she's what a year older than her just solid white i'm like wow but she they both embrace it <clears throat> and that's cool like i dyed my hair yeah that's true i didn't know a beard weave was a thing until i saw you <laughs> i didn't know it was a thing either seattle dreams <laughs> until i saw a uh where was it i saw it on world star i believe or saw it somewhere and i'm like what like huh and then i googled beard weaves and there's like a whole bunch of stuff i'm like really like where have i been i've never even heard of such a thing but apparently it's a pretty common it's becoming more common but hey you know to the person that got upset with me i wasn't necessarily saying you shouldn't do it and if you get a beard weave so be it i mean rock it well i wonder is it <clears throat> Instead of lace front, is it lace sides? See, you gotta go there and do stuff like that. I was just trying to say it was okay. I remember Carlo Boozer, Carlo Boozer looking like he had shoe polish on his head. Just looked crazy. See, again, I agree with you. Like, why do that? Like, you see how shiny my head is. And if I sprayed some stuff on it, it's just going to be, you can tell. Like, you can see where the hair here is, and there's no shine. And then this is shiny. So if I spray on it, you're going to see shine and spray. <laughs> you're going to know it's fake. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, with the beard weaves, I'm about to fall off the bed. So if you see me getting farther and farther over <laughs> to where you're just going to see this, you know why. She's rocking. And every time she rocks, she keeps <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway. What I'm saying is I've been out and I've seen people that look a little suspect in terms of the beard weave. And because I'm like, that looks really good. Like, again, oh. and I said in the video, so he was trying to, I think he was trying to attack me a little bit. And he was saying, um, I don't know if you guys read the comments sometimes. Read the comments, guys. Um, but <laughs> again, sir, I'm not trying to be mean, but he was saying like, because um, I said, you know, barbers do a good job with the beards you know like but sometimes it looks a little too good i said some of these beards look a little too good so i think that they're you know you, you question is it real now after i saw how popular it is and so he got upset saying well you because i'm like you know noel just you know she doesn't care she just accepts me you know like, whatever and he's like well you just don't care what you look like and you know blah 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 blah, Dang, blah, blah. he's calling you out and I'm like, I do. I He's correct. I don't care what I look like. I've already done all the hard work. She already did. Uh, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. So it's like, dude, like I, he's not, you're not slamming me. I understand. I even said my beard ain't all that. I said that. Like my beard's not all that. I understand that. But at the same time, he's like, you know, you just don't care what you look like and this, that, and the other. And I'm like, you're right. I don't. Concept of beard weave is already silly enough. The guy in your comment doesn't help him out. It really doesn't. Because it's like you're getting really defensive about it. And I'm like, good for you. Like if it's that's, a freaking beard weave. Like, it's just <laughs> it is. And then I saw a video on how they put it on, and I'm like, that is so totally it, it's 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 interesting. I'm gonna say it's interesting. <laughs> like when you see how they put it on. I don't get it. Do they I, sew it in? No, I, no, it's like a glue. Oh. Steve Harvey may have started this back in the 90s. He had too much hair. Yes. Yeah. I agree with You're you. You're not wrong. I agree with you. And there's some people that's just, it looks really, 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 really good. And I'm like, yeah, I know a barber is great. And some people, like Rick Ross, his I think is natural. I, I, I would say I think his is natural. And a lot, he brought that in, I think, where a lot of people want to look like that. And so they go and they get it. Me, I have a different hair texture, so it will never look like Rick Ross's. It just won't, right? But, and you see some skinage in it. Like, there's some skin. Rick Ross, you don't see nothing. It just it just looks, it's, it's nice. It's nice. And there's a lot of people where you go around and you see that, and I'm like, mm. Well, yours looks really good. I like yours. I like yours when it's longer. I like when it's like that. Yeah. I like yours. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm glad you I don't like, like when you have just a mustache. That's just... Ugh. Well, I do that sometimes <clears throat> just to try to mess I know. with you. It's like so. 70s porno. You just... I mean, you <laughs> what? just... What? I mean, having a, you can say that. I get it, but we're having like a totally G-rated conversation about... There's nothing not... Weaves ...and weaves on a guy, and then you're sitting there's here nothing... talking about porns. This is not the first time, folks. There's other videos. 
Where is she? We can talk about something totally banal. What? What? I was talking about your mustache. Exactly. What does that have to do with porn? It's. I don't like just. <laughs> <laughs> What? See, look. Uh, I told you. Stop it. Look. Okay, if I sit back, look. You see, oh, there's half Noe. Well, because you're sitting at an angle now. Full. Half. It's optical illusion. Uh, actually, I saw a picture of Rick Ross that looked like someone placed an afro over his mouth <laughs> and cut a hole in the mouth of his, so I don't know. You know, it could be true, Seattle Dreams. It could very well be true. <laughs> It, doesn't it look a little too good? <laughs> She's wrong. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, the window's so open. Loud. The window's open because here in Seattle, there's no air conditioning. So we're in Tacoma. Seattle, Tacoma. <laughs> they know. They know. But anyhow, here, come show off your hair. It it looks a little too good. I mean, his could be real or it could just be false. Look at this. Yeah. Box braids. Is it real? What is a box braid? It's a what box braid because it looks in like a box. I thought it was I thought it was a product that came out of a box. She's going to do no. my ears braided in box braids. Rick Ross like was accused of having a lace front beard a while ago, but it wasn't the most trustworthy news site that said okay, it. Okay, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, Sure. That's what I'm saying. Go Yes. To me... Two. What are you talking about, Zara? To me, it seems like it's just too good. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Nut job. This is, a, this is a crazy house. Can I go get some candy with your sisters? Okay, go. So to me, it just... To me, it just looks too good. You know what I mean? Like, it, it just doesn't look... It just doesn't look that natural. It just looks too too tight too perfect so i think it could be you could be very well true i thought i thought i heard something about that in the past a lace too. front beard a lace front beard. so i said lace but <laughs> instead know. of lace front it'd be like lace sides right and again like i told people imagine if i literally went and and tried to put some plugs in i don't even know where my hairline even used to be here no your forehead was not that little <laughs> <laughs> thanks my forehead wasn't that little. Thank you. I have to go back and look at pictures. This one right here, Ricky had it. You I could. think it's okay. Now here. I'm gonna have to Google. Okay, it. when you crinkle your crinkle, like your hairline was like right here. Yeah, yeah. Right there. That was back in the day. <laughs> oh yeah, lace side beard. Because that was back in the day. I wouldn't even know what to do with you if you had hair. I wouldn't know what to do with myself. But hey, it'd be all gray. Because you had more hair. But it was more like your bald spot has gotten bigger. Yeah, you could you you could paint it up. Now Jermaine Jackson, that is fake. <laughs> That's fake. You can tell this is fake. And like his hair, like his hair, it's like he looks like one of the what is it in uh, Wizard of Oz? <laughs> Jermaine Jackson, I think one of the Jacksons is hair. It's just like, dude, really. I don't know. I'm, I'm not trying to do. I'm trying to be a positive person, and then some folks and yourself are just taking. Well, me I down did nothing path. wrong. I'm trying not to do that. Hi, sweets. Yeah, smile, sweets. I guess. Oh, her hair's real, real pretty. Anyhow, so yeah. See, yeah. When we have, when we have Tin Man, Tin Man. Yeah, it's just yeah. Dreams is killing it. I mean, it just doesn't look right. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't, it looks, it screams fake, right? It's so you get attention, but is it the attention that you really want? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I believe in be, just being yourself. If people don't like it, then, and that's what I said in the video. If people don't like it, I remember back in the day, I went out someplace. This was after my first divorce. I went out and so went to the bar. This chick was with her friend. Her friend went to the bathroom because that's what women do. They'll either both go to the bathroom or they'll send one to the bathroom and give me time to talk to this guy or is he going to talk to me? That's what they used to do, right? <laughs> At least that's what they used to do back in Indianapolis. And thank you so much, Seattle Dreams. I appreciate it. Thank you. And so this chick's talking to me, right? Talking, talking, talking. And she had gotten me a beer, I believe, or something. I don't know, but I'm like, oh, I'm So 
Then her friend comes back and she sits behind me because at the bar, there's like a seat behind me. So chicks talking, talking, talking. And back then I used to wear, you know, like my little hat and everything. Well, she was like, take your hat off. And I'm like, okay. So I took it off because I had more hair by then, you know. You couldn't tell. The front, you couldn't tell that there was some stuff missing back in here. But I'm like, you know, I wore my hat not to hide up my baldness, but just because I was cool. I thought he it was, wore it crooked. I thought it was cool, you know. His little knit beanie with the bill. Mm-hmm. I thought it was cool. <laughs> it was cool. Okay, it was. She th- Everybody thought so. You thought so. It was cute. So, anyhow, I take it off. The friend back there is doing this, like, Nuh-uh. I swear on everything. No so I, the, the chick in front of me, the reason why I noticed is because she was looking and going, <laughs> she was circling <laughs> the air with her head, like going. <laughs> so I turned around and looked. Well, then meanwhile, chick got in. So I'm like, wait a second. I know what's up. She's trying to see. So I turned back real quick. <laughs> so I said, yeah. Like, That's, wow. Some women can be cruel, no? It's a hard world out there. I think of out of anybody, though, I don't know if I should say, <laughs> what? <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know what you're going to say. And no, it's not really appropriate. I know what you're going to say. What am I going to say? You, you said it often. <laughs> yep. I know you. But it's true. In your opinion. No. Okay. (laughs) Ew. That's true. (laughs) That's very. (laughs) See. That's mean. <laughs> when no. can be mean, man? That's mean. Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> like, people don't get that. Like, most people know what that means. I know. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. And I don't even have a microphone. I forgot the microphone. Oh, good. You got me worried for a second. Or so. <laughs> Yeah, I was worried. I'm like, uh-oh. There goes our subscribers. Oh, no, it's, I mean, I'm not it's saying not any, no. It's not mean. It's not, it's not really that mean. It's not that bad, actually. Here comes our bean. I can tell by the breath and by the movement. What's wrong with you? She's pretending. I told you, I know, I know everybody in this Why house. Why are you eating those? What is that? Oh, they're eating the, the hot fireball. stuff. fireball. The fireballs. Those are amazing. I love them. See, this is why we don't do live streams. They're just all over the place. Oh, master, that's like bedtime. It's crazy. So, yeah. But he never gets on the live streams with me. So that's why I wanted to do a live stream. I do. I made an appearance. Very, today. okay. You're like, hey, guys. I didn't, even say, I didn't say, hey, guys. That's, that's not, not how true. I talk. Exactly. Thank you, Zoe. I appreciate it. That's and not how I talk. So, okay. Whenever I and talk I for Herschel, anything. though, he always gets mad because he's like, I don't sound like that. Because <laughs> whenever, <laughs> and even like when I'm talking with my friends at work and I'm talking about you, I'm always like, <laughs> the only person who can talk like Papa is Papa. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Zoe. She's trying to get some extra points. Uh huh. <laughs> We make the kids earn their computer time, their game time, so they do good things. And their like, playtime with friends. Yeah, their playtime with friends. So basically, they get a point, which counts for an hour, that they can use for computer or going over to their friends or what have you. So they have to clean up stuff, which they rarely do, unless you tell them, mm-hmm. um, and stuff like that. So yeah, Zoe's trying to butter me up a little bit. So that she she's not going to earn a point for that. No. But she figures it doesn't hurt. Mm-hmm. So. And if it doesn't get her a point, she might think you'd give her some candy or something. <laughs> Which they already have. They already so. Some, so, yeah. My tummy's starting to get upset. It's I'm like, hungry. Oh, that's what it is. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I got a headache. I'm so hungry. I'm hungry. Hi, hungry. See? And then she does that. What? Great parents. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> the first time that I said, hi, hungry, to mama, she was like, we're doing a video, guys. It's like we're trying to do a video, and you guys come in here. My stomach hurts, Because you're hungry. I know. I'm so, Hi, hungry. So Hi, weak. hungry. 
I told you we should go to we should go to Mi Mi McMinimin. You can't even say it. I heard that you said McMinimin's gonna be go to <coughs> Excuse me, bad. Yeah. And McMinimin's is gonna be nuts. And have and have so much people and then and then they're gonna be screaming because all the loud noises. Most of that loud noises is gonna come from, come you. from you. So anyway, we can end this so we can go get some foodums. But Burton. anyway, I thought it'd be fun to do a live stream because we haven't mm. done a live stream together. It was okay. <laughs> Rude. It was all right. You did most of the talking. Maybe that's why it was just okay. No, if I'm doing most of the talking, it's going to be Whatever. Nice. Anyway. Everybody I likes my live stream. Ouch. You pitched me. Sci-Fi George. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. Hey, Sweet. Sweet. Now she's awake. <laughs> Sweet. Literally, I don't have no spot on here. Bruh. There. Can you feel her a little bit? She's awake now. Yep. You see yourself, Suits? <laughs> right there. Boop. I booped you. Oh, thanks, George. Yeah, so you probably can't tell, but it is darker and all my grays are gone. I had like a patch over here and then I had like a patch over here. So it wasn't like bad. It was really just an excuse for me to dye my hair. But I use like a black violet, which everybody's like, your hair's not purple. I mean, I didn't bleach it. <clears throat> I didn't lighten it. I just dyed on top of my natural color, which is already dark. So. Zoe's hair looks like that because I'm getting ready. I have her hair prepped to do box braids on her too. Box braids take a really, really long time. And I learned today that there's mad respect that goes out to the people that do hair. And now I know why they pay so much, or charge so much. There's also mad respect for people who make and prepare food for people. This guy right here. I want to place an order for three dozen eggs for Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> yes, come yeah, get them. Yeah, we em. got rid of four. I put three, yep. but it's actually four. I corrected it. So we actually have four dozen eggs that we sold, and then we I went out there and got, like, a bunch more. So it's crazy. So we're almost back to a dozen. Almost a dozen, yeah. So, yeah. So, it's crazy. Like I said, if anybody's local and they ever want fresh eggs, $3 a dozen. We'll bring them to you. She ain't coming here. <laughs> we'll meet up. <laughs> Chickens. We'll bring you them. can get them to me. You can get them from me at work. <laughs> there you go. You can just go downtown so, and meet you at the corner. 12, uh, 12, four times, uh, adding is... Uh, 48. Mm -mm. 48. It's not? Mm -mm. I sold four dozen for three dollars. So four times three. Every day we're hustling. Oh. This is a Rick three Ross cast. Of four. I thought it was going to be like the Hound. Three mm -hmm. of four. But yeah. it's not. So anybody watch Game of Thrones? What did you guys think of the ending? Honey, what? It's always our... Yes. Yeah. We know. Okay, go on down with your little candies and go, go, go. <laughs> um, I was okay with the ending. He was not. The ending was stupid. <laughs> that, I could, no offense. To, and I know that the one chick was upset. The one, the actress with the red hair, but she's actually a blonde. She's Sophie. actually, yeah, with red hair, she's okay. But with a blonde, like her natural hair, she's really pretty. Well, not saying she was ugly or anything, but anyway, she was upset because people thought the ending, when they said the ending was bad, she got upset, saying that you should be respectful, it was disrespectful, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's really cool. I like it, too. We got it off of Groupon. So, my thing is, is that I could have wrote the ending, the way that they wrote it. You know, yes, I agree with you, Sophie Turner. So, I agree with you. Like, there was a whole lot of walking in the final episode. It opens with Tyrion. Watch the camera, baby. Is that his name, Tyrion? Tyrion. He was walking. He walked for a long time. And then it shows, like, a bunch of other walking. Even the dragon, the scene where he was, Drogon, where he was picking up old girl. Like, you saw him <laughs> flying off. Like, there was a whole lot of just walking away. And maybe that was the point. But it's like, that was just such a boring... <laughs> uneventful episode whenever you have the one episode before i believe it's the one before it's wasn't it blurry. 
Yeah, okay. there it is. Okay. The one episode before where it was all this destruction and all of that, and then it comes to this boring, everybody's walking their own way. I think it needed to be an extra two episodes, at least. It should have been. To have been able to tie all the storylines Where did together. Drogon... Here's my question. Where did Drogon take old girl at? We don't know. What? The one girl... What's the one girl? Okay. The one girl with the needle, what's her name? Arya. Arya. Go ahead. Where did Arya go? I know that she's going west... Of... Okay. Come over here. She's going west of Westwood. No, Westeros. Westeros. Whatever. But Westwood is another show. Yeah. Westworld. Westworld. I don't know. But anyhow, I got to block you because you can't be all up in the thing. So, but, like, what happened? Like, can we see her actually there? We see her on the ship going there, but we don't see what happened. Like, there was just not a lot of plot or storyline to it. It was just, this is it. We're, we're done. It did. It doesn't tell you anything. So, to me, yeah, I think it was just a horrible ending. I don't accept it, but I have to because I didn't spend any money on it. Um, but to me, I think it was just kind of blah. It wasn't the best of. Some people were saying the same thing with The Sopranos. I disagree. The Sopranos was actually pretty good. The ending was pretty good because at the end, they all died. Like, it was kind of revenge happened to the family. That's different. Did they? I thought it just faded to black. No. But in this, it's like there's so many open-ended questions, and it could be because aren't they making like a movie or something? They're doing um, prequels. It's blurry. Um. So what are you doing? <laughs> what? Over there. <laughs> Got, got X-rated quickly. <laughs> I know I did. You gotta <laughs> I mean, I'm a little, is this a gray hair right here? I see it sparkle. Yeah, that's a gray hair. But, yeah, it's like that. I got a little flustered here. Anyway, Sweet is upset. What, baby? I can't do it. How do you do it? You do, the guys who wrote it, D and D, are going to work for Star Wars, yep. right? Uh, a lot of people are thinking they just rush everything and do that, not looking forward to their movie. I agree. That's basically what it was. And you know what? George Lucas was actually on the set what? What? of Game of Thrones. He was actually on the set. And to me, it's like he's on the set to check up on everybody. It's like, dude. <laughs> you guys almost done? You yeah, done yet? You yeah, done it's yet? like, dude, like, go away. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just, it, to me, it upset me. It upset a lot of people, too, because it was just a rushed. It was just rushed. And so I think for them... It's all about for the guys who who made the who made Game of Thrones. I think it's all about, yeah. You know what I mean. And what they don't realize is people are basically looking at how they handled this, and it's going to probably affect what they do in the future. The issue is that this is an adaptation. Uh, no way! I don't know how to do. It. How do you do? It? Yeah. You hit this. I did that, but then that pops up. The issue is that this is an adaptation for which the source material has not been completed. True. Yes. Uh, people who are not writers tried to write it. Yep. Very true. Mama. What? I can go on and on about that because it wasn't good. The Mama. ending wasn't good. Could have been much better. Mama, what are we doing? Yeah, I don't know where we're going. Anywhere. So, anyhow, I'm going to get off here. I missed a call. No. <laughs> it said it up there for anyone who's listening to this. Yep, it was sci-fi, George. It was a giant, <laughs> and it was a middle finger walking away, or flying away, because that's all you saw was people walking away. You even saw the I back guess of maybe heads. that's why, but, uh, I mean, honey, hang, hang on, hang on. I guess that's why I'm also not that upset, because I didn't invest eight years. I invested, we what, it. we started watching it in March? March or yeah. yeah, so... <laughs> You want to go take care of sweets? You can take care of sweets. And then I can close this out. But yeah, to me... <clears throat> yeah, to me, it was just it was just nonsense. They basically rushed it for no reason. There was parts of it that were cool. Like, okay, for example, what was the guy that I was pretending to have? The, the hound. The hound. The hound and his brother. 
Okay, that was cool, right? But I would have liked for them doing the giant person pizzas on um, Fridays. No, we really don't do the big we pizzas. We did. Um, oh, I just made pizza. She did not long ago, but like a week ago. Not like what we were doing because of the gallstones. But I've been eating everything, kind of. So it's you just we don't, don't eat do red it. meat. Yeah, we don't do it like we used to. But so the hound and the the his brother. Yeah, we know they died. But I would like to see them in the rubble. Or I know they fell in fire, but show something. That wasn't shown. Um, they did show the woman and dude. What's the brother and sister? They showed them. Jamie and Cersei. Jamie and Cersei. They showed them. That was so unsatisfying. But Cersei's death. She needed to pay for it. Yeah. I really wanted Arya to be able to kill her. But she already did. She, she had the Ice King. She needed to kill Cersei. Yeah. She needed to complete her list. Uh, uh, well, it seemed like she did kind of fall off at the end. Like, yeah. She they built strong... her up and built her up, and then they're like, okay, you killed Night King, like you're became, done. Yeah, she became soft as a kitten after that. You killed the baddest dude. But so did Jon Snow. Yeah. Jon Snow, soft. though, finally redeemed himself by killing Danny. We're saying all the K word a lot, and so they're going to basically flag the video now. What's Game of Thrones? They don't care. YouTube don't care. But anyhow, <clears throat> that was my take. I didn't like it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't like how it ended. I thought it was stupid. I thought there was a lot of stuff they could have actually put in there that they didn't. There was a whole lot of just questions. And again, maybe it's the movie that they will put it in. Or they have two two movies, right? Sequels. Two There's sequels? Sequel or prequel series. Oh. So they may answer more questions there. I don't know. But yeah. And of course the actors are going to be defensive because, I mean. That's their work. That's what they eat. Uh, it would have been cathartic for the audience to see her killed. But Daenerys denying her a dynasty was satisfying. Hey, guys. hey, Joey. Hey, Joey. I agree. I agree. And to be honest with you, I, the one part that I really and truly made sense before Drogon flew off and we saw him fly off for like a minute and a half, um, <laughs> they try to kill as much time as possible. Like, <laughs> let's, what can we do so we don't have to write a lot? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> but anyway, so, so Daenerys wanted to sit on the crown or on the, what is it called? The, the, the throne. The throne. <laughs> she wants to sit on it. She did touch it. She was the last person to touch it. I did see that. And that makes sense. She was interrupted because I think before she got a chance to sit down on it, Jon Snow came in there and started talking to her. Uh, and then he took her out, right? And I think that the Drogon was like, well, if she can't sit on it, no one's going to sit on it. So he melted it down and destroyed it. That was cool. That made sense. So no one is going to, because this, this throne had such a huge history behind it. And so he destroyed it. And so there was no chance. But where did he take her? Like, that's the question. Where did she go? He took her to his little hideaway How spot. do you know? How do you know? Because that's know. where he goes. And supposedly there was another dragon, but we don't know. I don't think there was. There's just See, I do that and nothing happens. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Uh, winter is calm, huh? It came and went, really? Oh, well, spring is coming. Spring is coming. I agree. <laughs> I agree. It was okay. But the ending was trash. I still think season four was my favorite. I can't even remember. That had the red wedding. And as much as I didn't like the red wedding, the red wedding was a really... That was good. That was rough. Yeah. That was rough. That was pretty rough. But anyhow, folks, this is like almost 40 minutes. Nobody likes to do hour-long... Um, live streams. I don't. I like doing like a two minute live stream. I like to talk and interact with the people. I do too. No, you don't. Man, that gray is really glistening. It's not the same. That gray eyebrow. <laughs> Soon this was just going to be white and this was going to be black. <laughs> <laughs> Ebony. I think and some level drug and destroyed agree. instead hurting John because he understood that it led to her demise. Yep, I agree. Yeah. But see, the thing is, it just wasn't. Also, John is a Targaryen, so <clears throat> I don't think he would have hurt him. True. Well, will Drogon come back to seek revenge? <clears throat> the Lily Dragon Drogon took her back across the Narrow Sea. 
Um, yeah, I'd like to believe that too. The other thing is, is that there's other places within, there's other cities. Howdy, y'all, Washington State sure is green and recreational. Yes, it very much is, especially <laughs> this time of year. It's really green. Um, because we've been having a lot of rain. It's supposed to rain later today, but it didn't. Yeah, I think they mean to... green and recreational. Oh, I'm sorry, Amy. I was thinking about something else. <laughs> yes, that too. That too. Um, Yay, Noe for president. <laughs> no <yeah>. thanks. <laughs> so, Joey, we're talking about Game of Thrones, and we're talking about the ending that was just not. It, it, was, it was bad. Um, there's so many different little villages or kingdoms or whatever you want to call them that wasn't even discussed. So, well, to me, Game of Thrones could have went on forever. You never seen the show, Joey? It's pretty good. There's some people making fun of it, and they don't like it, and that's fine, whatever. But it's, I liked it. It was really good. I'm glad that we watched it. So there's a lot of different little villages or kingdoms that are there. There's maps even that wasn't even talked about. Did Drogon take her to one of these other places? Don't know. Did Arya go to one of those places and run her own little kingdom? We never know. They didn't. They just stopped it. We just don't know. And that's what's annoying to me. Maybe they'll come out with movies after George R. R. Martin finishes his last two books. I guess. James Cameron will come and make a movie. But then it, it becomes... <laughs> but think... he's been working on the freaking Avatar sequel for like, what? Well, Zoe's eight. And then it's going to so it's eight probably years. Gonna suck. It's probably, probably going to suck. Because they, they, to me, I think they put profit over over honestly that's why i think lord of the rings movies were so good yeah because they were all filmed together mm -hmm. all at one time mm -hmm. and they were just released right. over a three-year span of time which is what they should and do. so that way the the quality was all there the storyline was all there and that was really well done because it was all taken care of at one time right but then when that's why sequels typically aren't it's going to be trash and i could be wrong but to me it's just like i don't think that if you have another group of writers and directors and stuff it's it's going to feel so disconnected i could be completely wrong yeah because sometimes you watch a show or sometimes you watch a movie or a series and then it's like dang did the writer call out that day because right. this tell. is totally off base you can tell yeah. And even with Game of Thrones, there were different writers. Or different and directors. Just, and different directors, too. Yeah. And it just was like, mm, you could kind of tell, you know? So to me, it's like, keep the same people and keep the same mojo going, because then when you have a break, it's never as good. The, the second part is never... Tolkien for the win. Who's Tolkien? Tolkien. Tolkien. Who's that? Uh, J.R. Tolkien. He wrote uh, Lord of the Rings. Well, I don't know. Yeah, that I don't know. I just watch the stuff. There are some people have you ever seen the Lord of the Rings? Yeah, I don't read it. I didn't say you read it. I'm just saying like there are some people who are fanatics. I'm not a fanatic. I think. I mean, right. nothing against people who are, but I'm not a fanatic. No. Again, I think people should be able to do whatever they want to do. I like to hear Star Wars. I can't get into I'm Star Wars. Right now. Oh, there we go. See. <laughs> Yes, scared into submission. <laughs> oh man! But anyway, yeah, I can't get into Star Wars. It just like doesn't. It. It's okay. I know. Here I sit and talk about Lord of the or Lord of the Rings and all this stuff. But Star Wars is just one of those that I just. It's okay. What is it called? Twenty six percent. It's okay. That's all right. I don't understand why it's such a big OG Star Wars for the win. It's all right. It's all right. Like, I'm not beating down the door whenever the theater <laughs> puts it out there that, to, to watch it. But I'll go watch it. I'll go see it. I'm going to see Toy Story 4 this summer, though. Good example. Finding Nemo was amazing. Finding Dory was okay. Finding Dory was just... And it took him 12 freaking years to put that out there. That's, that's my point. They like, waited come on. too long. At least they still had Ellen be Dory, though. True. And she tried. The best part of Finding Dory was Baby Dory, honestly. Yeah. I that agree. Baby Dory was freaking adorable. I agree. But it just wasn't, we waited that long for that. It's like, well. But yeah, Toy Story 4, although I feel like Toy Story 3 could have been the end and it would have been fine. It would have been fine, but they're going to mess it up. 
There was another one too. I, I can't think of it right now, but it was just, it's like, ugh. Uh, what is it? Oh, God. I forget what it is. But it just, to me, it's like some things should be left alone. Um, so do you think there should never be a sequel? I think there should be. But I think you have to have the right, the same people. I mean, if it's not broke, then don't fix it, right? And so what they're doing is, is that it was perfectly fine, and then they try to fix it. And it's like, no, don't don't put a new director and new writers and all that. Just keep the same people. Keep the same momentum going. Because when you break, because I think the drive changes, right? You know that you have a successful product. Like, for example, Fast and Furious. I think that there were others. Oh God, there's like eight of those There's now. like a bunch of them. Uh, there's a lot of movies. And to but me, also, Fast and the Furious. <laughs> see, you just said it. Fast and the Furious was, I mean, that was Paul Walker. Like, Yeah, but it's like, it's true. I agree. And I agree. like, I don't think you could have, But the first one, continue. the first one was bomb. The second one was cool. But after that, it's like, mm, you know what I mean? It's like, mm, it's my opinion. That ain't me, bro. I don't <laughs> okay. know what she wants to, that ain't nothing to me. <laughs> What do you think of Harry Potter people movies that have been coming out for the last few years? Again, I have that's no idea. Her. No, but I don't. You know. like Harry Potter? I've seen like two or three of them. I'm not big in the. I Harry just Potter. I don't. I never read the books. The books were after I was older, so. I'm not big in the Harry Potter. I don't know. Did you go book books? Yeah, she looked at me like I did. <laughs> I didn't know it. <laughs> it's like really. The Incredibles. Yeah. Yeah, The Incredibles 2 was not that incredible. That's what I'm saying. Like, to me, what is it called? Um, it's not Truck Tale. It's another, it's another animation. It's, uh, oh, what is it? Uh, Turtle Tale? Turtle Tale. Is it Turtle Tale? Turtle Tale. Isn't it Turtle Tale? That's the one? I think so. Okay, Turtle Tale. First one, great. It's cool. <laughs> Second one? Ugh. <laughs> like, it was like, <laughs> people are probably like what are you talking about i know i have kids so it's like but it's like, even if i didn't have kids, I <laughs> that was a good one yeah the first one was great second one ugh. like i just the last death wish the charles bronson series stay consistent there's very few that stay consistent i don't know what that is i don't know what that is either there's very few that really stay consistent and that's that's my fear with the whole um what we were talking about the show Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. I'm getting old. Game of Thrones. To me, it's. I don't think it's going to be that great when they do the prequels. I, I, well, I heard that. I have my doubts. The prequel, and it's not even going to have the same. Pe it's like, it's it's That's, thousands of years before see, Game stupid. of Thrones time. That's stupid. so. It's like the origin of the children of the forest. Stupid. So. Because nobody like yeah, that's interesting. But to me, it's like, why couldn't they have that as a dream? Like, why couldn't they take the current actors and that's a dream? And they, it, you know, like they... Or Bran wargs into it. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, he... The, the question of why did the whole... Um, the, what, what, what is the purpose of the Three-Eyed Raven? Well, what about the, the Ice... The Ice King, what were the, the people Night called? King. The Night, Night King. Walkers. The White Night Walkers. Walkers. The White Walkers. Like, you know, someone say, how did they even come to be? And he could go back and talk about it. Charles Bronson, Bruce Willis started the game. First. Death Wish is the 70s, 80s action. Okay. Okay. Now, I will say, a caveat is 007. Now, though, that's different. But those are different. What They've about... kind of consistent. You don't really sleep on those. those what about different. Friday? Yeah, Friday, the first one was great because they were hungry. The first Friday was really, really good. What about the Chris Tucker, the you Jackie take, Chan? You take Chris Tucker out of it, it wasn't that good. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, the first Friday was amazing. The second one, no. The third one, no, no, I mean, what about the movie? The uh, Rush Hour? Chris? Yeah. The first Rush Hour was great. Rush Hour 2 was good. Uh, Rush Hour 3... Because the, the first one was in Los Angeles. It was cool. It was funny. second one was in Hong Kong, which was cool because you get to see Hong Kong and that type of thing. It was great. The third one was Paris. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> what? I don't get it. Like, I get the first one, because like, Chris Tucker's a L.A. cop. And the second one, you know, Jackie Chan comes from Hong Kong, and so they go, I get it. But Paris? <laughs> I didn't get it. It just doesn't make sense to me. Some people obviously will disagree, but I just didn't understand that. It was just weird. Anyhow, we can sit and talk about movies all day long, because that's what we do. We spend our time at home watching movies. We should do a live stream one time just about movies and shows. Now, one show that I did like, that was a series, <laughs> and I said I was going to stop, that I really, 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 <laughs> really, you know what I'm talking about? No. Oh, the one show I really, really liked that I thought they could have continued and done oh, very well. Marco Polo. Marco Polo. Why did you like Marco Polo so Marco much? Marco Polo was really, really good. The hist the historical context. <laughs> <laughs> the historical context was great. Was it? I'm telling and you. you what, guys... was the, what, was the his what was the historical story that was being followed? It talks about Genghis Khan. <laughs> sorry. Genghis Khan. And? And Marco Polo. <laughs> It and what else? And it talked about how <laughs> Genghis Khan came into power and all of that stuff. Surprising, I've learned my fiance that there's a lot of congers that live in Paris, so that's why they went there. Really? Oh. Hmm. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I know there's a lot of people from Hong Kong who live in England. Definitely. But I didn't know that about Paris. Okay. Anyhow, I gotta go get something to eat. Hope you guys like this live stream. Got to put everybody on mute. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this live stream. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and uh, what, like, share, subscribe, comment, comment. <laughs> yeah. Until next time, you gonna do this, sweets? <laughs> Until next time, oh. I will see you. Take care. <laughs>